so guys welcome to the part 2 of the video so now we have our SSH ready and I will be installing the Vesta CP on this so you see right here uh, this is blocked by Sam Perrin and he has written it very beautifully so I am just using this article and provide the link in the description below so that you can have a look on this so he has uh, clearly mentioned everything and it's pretty well uh, organized so uh, the main thing you gotta do is go to networking and firewall rules. I think I'll provide in the description uh, networking slash firewalls. And here you have the VPC network and firewall rules. Uh, need to swap that out. So th these are the firewall rules. Uh, we have here the firewall rules. Okay, uh, we, we just want this particular room is the cp dash panel uh, so need to click here create firewall rule and follow all of these steps so the name would be vesta cp dash panel uh, this would be default priority is the specific number no priority and uh, targets target would be uh, target tag is this source filter would be allowed from any source that is 0.0.0.0 slash .0, .0, 0 and the target tag should be this the first dash panel allowed protocols and port would be 8083 slash tcp so this is a TCP zero eight three. Okay, so this is the firewall set configuration, and you just hit the create button to complete the process. So now you would have a new firewall rule uh, that is Vesta CP dash panel. So once this is set up, uh, we will be going on our uh, instance. So right here we have our instance. And compute engine VM instances and uh, click here. You see, uh, in, under management in the tax section, you need to add Vesta CP dash panel. So, right here down below, you need to click the edit button and uh, then. Uh, in this network tag section just paste this thing okay and save now we would be following the next part that is installing the VM so you need to go cd slash 10 you can go directly from here control c control v then uh, curl this command this will actually fetch the entire program then uh, sudo bash this install so this says uh, group admin exists please remove admin user account before proceeding so you can paste this and add sorry you can paste this and add, add dash dash that is hyphen hyphen force so we will be starting the Vesta CP installation process this asks you to just click continue enter the email at which you want all the mails to be forwarded uh, just press enter for FQD and, FQD and host them and now this installation will take uh, all 15 minutes Can just I, I'll just pause this and then this process continues and I'll just resume it back when this process is completed. So we are now done with the installation process. I just request you to save this particular data with you this one uh, and anywhere like you can save it in notepad so that you would have an access. Uh, the, it has a very vital information that I'm in passing. Uh, that uh, would also be mailed to you but uh, this would be preferable so I'll just go on this particular 
moment and this will tell you that your connection is not secure so you need to click advanced and add exception for this site and then you can proceed so here enter password I enter username admin and the password you check out on your initial step so in uh, now here you can just change your password quickly so that you would remember a password okay uh, so now you are ready for your first step now in this you will need to set up a website that is a web domain so i will just click here add web domain and it would be nindeshwar.net uh, we would need no dns support yes uh, we may need main support i don't know no, we won't need main support and uh, you, need, you don't need to click this accessory support button now we will be using it later and just add so you have your website added here and uh, now I would go on Big Rock where I actually have my domain. Now, just here I will be using this uh, DNS itself, the Digrog DNS itself, so like my main server details are DNS by Digrog. And now I click on Manage DNS, and uh, after I just get into this my order box, uh, there are this area cards. So here I just change my IP address, modify this record. This idea is Well, keep the time to live at this TTL to 7200 only. And modify my and do the same with the other one. So after this is done, I'll like wait for, for 5 to 10 minutes and then I'll just go on my side. So now after 5 minutes, I hope the DNS propagation is done. Uh, if you go uh, in your browser, I think because of uh, caching, you would be seeing the old site. Uh, even if you clear the caching. Uh, so I just suggest you to go on some other kind of browser which uh, you hardly access like Internet Explorer, no one access. So, so, uh, okay, so Nindeshwar.net and uh, if this is going well, you would see, don't, you won't see this digital mission based application. So I will be in a VPN session. Otherwise you can check on your mobile phone if your DNS propagation thing is done. For me on my phone, my DNS you see, you see this? Your DNS propagation is done. It's just because of the cache problems that browser doesn't show you all the things. Uh, so now your DNS propagation is done. So this is the complete part two of uh, your Google Cloud and WordPress uh, 